What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Grind Force Gaming. Nova here and today's video is all about the brand new Dante event that just came out today. If you want to check him out, he's actually been in the gallery since yesterday. You can read up on his skills here and what do you know, Crunchyroll just gave us a brand new pay to win fighter that isn't even worth paying for. So uh, it's just a weird situation right now. I'm not really sure what's going on with this game, but I'm really just hoping that they start to bring out some normal faction fighters here. Uh, as part of the event here, we have the Devil Invasion, and in the Explore tab here, you're going to see something that's a little bit reminiscent of what they did with um, the previous Akuma launch. Some really great rewards in there. You got a little shortcut for summoning here. This is basically his own version of Path of Trials that you can uh, just try to play through to get some additional rewards. You've got a shortcut to the shop as well. There are some nice rewards in here as well. You can change this, the Demon Soul Stones for like T2 gear upgrades, or summoning tokens, or boost stones. So you have a a good option. B. Sangeef is in there as well. He's definitely someone worth picking up if you're going to save them up a little bit. Um, but what we're going to talk about today, specifically, is just this actual trial itself. Now, we've done these videos before. I do have it sped up if you want to copy these lineups. That's basically the idea here behind this. We've had some comments in the past about uh, like not explaining why you know I'm picking these fighters, but that's not what this video is about. Like I don't want to dive into like team building theory. Just pause this copy the lineups, beat the event, get the rewards, and then just move on in the game basically is my, my thought process here. So some of these are a little bit more difficult than others. Some of them are super easy. Like if you have a B Sangeef, like obviously use him. You can interrupt, you can cancel the combo chains. It makes it much easier to beat some of these, but you don't always have the most ideal fighters for the matchups that you're given. And this next one here is a perfect example of that. Actually, they have a C Viper and you don't really have anything that's specifically going to help you beat this lineup like super easily. Uh, it took me quite a few tries. I had to try some different uh, team matchups here. And like weirdly enough, I had to use T-Hawk to make this one work. So, I mean, it just, it is what it is. Just copy this lineup and it's going to work for you as well. There is some RNG involved sometimes. So if you do use one of these lineups and it doesn't happen to work, just put the same lineup in, use the same combo chain play it over and uh, yeah, you should be fine. This one was also a little bit difficult just because of the uh, combination of, of Gen E Honda and Combat Guile. It's pretty, it's pretty difficult to be honest. This one also took me a few tries, not as much as the Sea Viper one, um, but maybe there's just something to the T-Hawk play, but I don't use him. So I, I really didn't know what to expect with that one, but it did work. So um, this one was pretty easy as well. Luckily you do have a lane in this one. So you've got some good heal. And you also have Sea Viper. If you can use her, definitely do it. There's a Cami in the back line, so you just want to make sure that you get her down as quickly as possible. And then this last one here, they have a Dulcim in the lineup, which is also kind of difficult to deal with when you don't have someone that's going to like very quickly be able to take him out, like a Sea Viper, for example. We do have Guy in this one, and I did try it, uh, but it doesn't really work super well. Unfortunately, he's a little bit too squishy, so Dulcim was just taking him out before you know he had the ch he had the chance to do his backline attacks and actually be effective at it so anyway guys that's the trial right there like i said pause it copy the lineups dante is in my opinion based on the way that his skills read just a pay to win chun li i mean he's a damage dealer and he's doing speed up he's got a cool mechanic you know i guess where he changes form but you know he's super pay to win and i think his highest benefit comes from his super which means you're really going to be hoping to get damage from him. And as a result, that means you're going to have to level him a bunch. You're going to have to get his grade up. So I just don't think it's a very economical choice as far as the game is concerned. And I, I don't really know why we keep getting events and fighters like this. Uh, it's kind of getting to the point where I'm starting to be a little bit concerned about the events that are coming out in the future. So anyway, that's my take on this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take a moment to subscribe, throw a like on the video. And we'll see you guys on the next one.